Hello, hello, hello. Do, 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 do. Welcome to Roblox. Yes, welcome to Roblox. Today we are going to be making a um, <coughs> countdown script. So, I want you guys to open a new script. And I'm going to show you the right and the wrong way to do this. Sort of. First, we're going to make this a... First, if you want to make like a direct countdown, you could type while true do, and what that does is it keeps... It's a ongoing loop because while this statement is true, it's going to keep doing this. This statement can kill you. Why? Because if you don't put a wait, it can crash Roblox. I don't think it matters what computer you have, so be careful when you're doing these loops. So I'm just going to put a wait in there, just in case. I forget. Later on. Okay. What we're going to do with... I'm, I'm new to this, so... But I'm not dead new, so... Okay. Do you want to have a variable? I'm going to call that seconds. Equals to... How many, you want your, how many seconds do you want there to be? For your countdown. How about we say... 10 seconds. We're going to do seconds equals... Seconds minus one. Every time it does that. Oops, for this wait, we'll probably wait one. Because we're, we're making a countdown guy based off of seconds. And seconds go by in seconds. But after it subtracts one every time and it gets a zero, it goes into the negative numbers. Why? Because it's a while true do loop. How do you fix that? We could put a... a f um seconds is equal to zero then return or is it break return and i'm gonna put that I, I don't know how to use break end and that would be this so the basic countdown to display that we would put make a variable for a new message and um we can make it a hint, I guess. Oh, it's a countdown, but okay. Message. M dot parent equals game dot workspace. Or if you want to make it a player, then. But that's a different video. Yeah, I'll I'll make a video on that too. Okay. M dot parent equals game dot workspace. Okay, so here we are going to. Put M that text. We're gonna make text seconds. Boom. All right. All right. At that point, just a second. Well, it's a countdown, but I'm gonna put remaining seconds remaining. So we're taking a variable here and putting it with the string. That way, you'll see the number of seconds remaining. Boom. Instead of return and actually let, let's test this. Let's test this. I don't want to test it. How do I test it? I'm going into solo. Cause I like solo better. And it's it doesn't lag my computer up. This is my first. See look, it works. Six, five, oh lag. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh. Okay, I know what happened. You see, it says if seconds is equal to zero, then return end. So it. So instead of putting that there, we could put it up here. Because it says it's not equal to zero. Then it's subtracted, now it's equal to zero. If it's equal, okay, how I explain this. So, while true do, it says if seconds is equal to zero, then done, return end. 
just return nothing and then end the script, end the function, end the box to do loop. But else, there's not a statement. But I mean, if it does pass this this line five code, then it moves on to print the amount of seconds remaining, and then it goes on to subtract. Um, well, this was supposed to be in the bottom, but I put it up there. I'll tell you why soon. This was yeah. So. So then it subtracts a second. So when it's at like what two two seconds remaining, it says two seconds remaining. It subtracts. No, it's at one second remaining. It subtracts one second. And now it says zero. Now the if statement is because it's going to keep on going over and over. And it's say if seconds is equal to zero, then return end. Um, it's equal to zero, so it returns end. That's why it won't print zero seconds remaining. That's why we're going to move this to the top, and we're going to see. Um, we're going to see work. I'll make another video for you guys um, on a better loop, but this is the loop I want to show you. The first, it's, it's not the best loop, but it is the, a good loop. It's the good loop. Three, two, one, zero! Oh, broke. Uh, uh, okay. Whoopsie! Okay, something happened. I don't know what. Hmm. Uh, how about we just make this negative one? I don't know why. Someone tell me why, please. I'm not good with math. Nah. <laughs> nah, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Woo! What happens after this? Oh no, there's a message still here. Oh uh, no, then you can fix this. Okay, instead of putting return end, let's call another fun. Let's call a function. Yeah. Call what? Boom. And function boom will be down here. And that text is equal to. Boom! Like a bomb just went off. And then. End. That is our script. And that should work. And we will have a proper countdown. We will have an even more proper countdown. If this is not the one you're looking for, I'll post the other one for you. Whoever is watching this video. It's lagging. Lag, lag, lag. But it to to what ha happened? What happened? Ay -ay 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 Waiting for auto update attempt. Weird, very weird. And the text. Huh. That should have worked. Why did it not work? <sighs> well, this this part works. Yay, we made a countdown script. Yay, we'll be making, we'll making other stuff soon. I'll show you some other cool loops you can use. And I'll try to make it easy for you to understand. So, see you later!